Support the channel by going to my NordVPN link. It really helps the channel if you sign up for their plan, starting at only $2.99 a month. Can't get a better deal. That or support me on Patreon. Send just two bucks my way, like you're buying me a cup of coffee. Alright, let's get into the video. Due to some recent events, I thought that I would take it upon myself to talk about some things that I thought were interesting, just to gauge my community. What's up everybody, Durag back at it again with another discussion video. For today's topic we're going to discuss, is it okay for developers to use bot assets? Some of you might think, well this is a simple answer, the obvious answer is yes. It is okay for developers to use bot assets because the point of bot assets is to help developers who can't make their own assets or don't have the funding to make their own or maybe they just don't want to use a lot of their time doing just that. Those of you that don't know what a bot asset is, it's like there are people who make props or mechanics. and then they put it on a marketplace for other developers to buy and use it in their game. That's essentially what a bot asset is, or at least that's what I think it is. If anybody wants to really explain it to me down in the comments, let me know. But I think I'm somewhat right. But anyways, the asset store generally helps out tinier developers, but along with helping the little guy, it has also allowed people to create games that most would consider scams. Basically what these shitty developers do is buy a bunch of cheap assets and throw it all together like they do almost no tweaking or development. They slap it all together like within one day and try to pawn it off like it's a legit game. So there's obviously pros and cons to these bot assets but ultimately there's nothing wrong with using bot assets in your game. But I have at least two rules. One, the developer must state that he or she or they is using bot assets because not doing that or saying that everything is made in house will just make the developer look bad. Like you already lost my trust when you said, oh, everything is made in house, but then I could find it on an asset store. And that gives me reason to believe that you're already bullshitting this day one. So a suggestion for developers who are using bot assets, state that you're using bot assets. It builds trust and there's nothing wrong with admitting that you're using assets. I just want to put that out there to be clear there's nothing wrong with you using assets that's my rule number one rule number two it's what you do with the assets that matters just buying an asset and putting it in your game isn't impressive how do you morph it in a way that makes it your own can i manipulate the asset in ways that wasn't done before it was bought these are important questions that developers need to answer in order for a guy like me to give their games a shot so those are just my two rules when it comes to games utilizing bot assets of course my opinion can change over time but that being said i would really like to know what other people think down in the comment section because me covering a lot of indie games has me running into a bunch of games that have been using bot assets which again isn't a bad thing but you really have to be critical when it comes to them because you can't really differentiate between a legitimate game and a scam so this just causes a lot of people to just put a blanket over everything but yeah tell me what you think down in the comment section below be sure to subscribe and click that bell notification along with liking the video statistics show that uh, the moment that I say that people are gonna do that stuff so uh, I guess I'm gonna I started saying that now as much as I really don't want to but yeah I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one bye bye